We all know that pressure busts pipes, right? What about expectations? So if you got pressure and you got expectations ever since you was a freshman in high school and you meet that pressure and you beat that pressure and you outdo expectations, this is Trevor Lawrence. Yes, I said it. This is Trevor Lawrence. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you his NFL comparison today. YouTube! What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports. And guys, today's video is going to be on Trevor Lawrence NFL comparison. Yes, I said it. Trevor Lawrence NFL comparison. So, before I break him down, guys, and give you his NFL comparison, let me tell you what I think about Trevor Lawrence. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to be a really good quarterback, even great. I'm not saying a Hall of Famer. I'm not he's I'm not saying that yet, but it's going to be really good. And guys, I got a comparison to y'all for y'all that you're going to be like, wow, you think it's going to be like that? Yes. So listen, stay tuned. So let me go and get started. I'm not going to hold y'all up on this video, guys. So Trevor, we all know what his stats is, right? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some key things that I always give you in all my videos when I'm doing comparisons, especially for NFL draft prospects, right? So Trevor Lawrence freshman year, 2018, 15 games. 65 uh, percentage, 65 completion percentage, guys, and 3,280 yards with 30 touchdowns and four interceptions. He won the championship that year, right? That's phenomenal to be that, do that as a freshman, guys. He meet, he met all those expectations. He beat that pressure. He was, he was a phenom coming out of high school, and he still performed, guys. It's, you don't, that's not easy. You may think, oh well, anybody can do that. No. And I'm getting off topic a little bit. Even LeBron James to come and meet that pressure out of high school and be able to perform. That's stuff that I can say that Jordan even didn't do. Jordan had to develop in college, right? But no, this guy like a Trevor Lawrence is coming straight out of high school and winning the national championship. That right there puts him up here already to co compared to all quarterbacks coming out out of high school, right? So look, let me go to his sophomore year, 2019. Another 15 games, 65 completion percentage. So that even, it got just a little bit of 0.2 of a percentage better, right? So it's about the same. And he he got more, he threw for more yards, 3,665 yards, guys, with 36 touchdowns, but the interceptions were up only four. He, he, he threw eight interceptions that year. That's okay. He threw for more. He had more uh, targets, guys. He threw more. They asked him to do more. So when you do more, your interceptions can go up. But as long as you have a 36 to 8 uh, percentage to touchdown ratio, Guys, that's that's phenomenal. So listen, guys, so listen, guys, his junior year, 2020, which was last year, we know what that was. He he played 10 games, because we know it was a shortened season, but he had a 69 completion percentage. Phenomenal. And he threw for 3,153 yards, guys. 24 touchdowns, five interceptions. That's still great numbers, especially in the COVID situation, guys. So, guys, let any and listen, guys. I'm about to give you his NFL comparison. Now, listen, you might not agree. Look, if you don't agree, guys, just go to the comment section and let me know. Say, Terry, no, I think he's more similar to this player. So, guys, don't forget to like this uh, video and also hit the thumbs up on this video, guys, and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to keep giving you cutting-edge videos like this. So, check this out. Andrew Luck. Yes, I said it, guys. This guy's compares to Andrew Luck. With beating the pressure and beating the expectations, that's what Andrew Luck did. So he, Andrew Luck was the next phenom that nobody was like, oh my God, this guy's going to be great. He's, he played for Stanford. He took them and beat a lot of big time schools like USC. This guy's phenomenal, right? But yes, this is Trevor Lawrence too. Trevor Lawrence is the same, the same type of expectations that they both had. They both beat them, guys. That's why I believe and they kind of similar. They're very similar. I'm going to give you some reasons why they're similar, guys. So Trevor Lawrence, I'm just going to look at as far as his pro day. That don't matter to me. It's a quarterback. You just watch him play on film. You, that lets you know. But I'm going to give you some stats. Trevor Lawrence, 40 times, a 4.78. You know what Andrew Luck, 40 times was? A 4.67. Guys, that's that's the only, that's a, I can't even show you the measurement of how close that is. Most people are like, oh, that's a lot faster. No, that's very similar. So they've got about the same speed, kind of same athletic ability. Just um, 
and you look a little bit more girthier. You know what I'm saying? That's the only difference. And, and uh, Trevor Sunshine, I call him Sunshine Anderson, like off of Remember the Titans with the long hair. Uh, he's um just a little slightly built. You know what I'm saying? A little more skinnier. So listen, guys. So the first reason why these guys are similar, and I kind of said it already, is they both had a lot of expectations and they had pressure on them from early in high school all the way up through their last year playing in college. And these guys perform over that. So that lets you know the fourth quarter would not make them rhythm, guys. They, these guys can perform. And when they get in the NFL and it's uh, two minutes to go, these guys not going, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. I'm like, ah, I fumble. No, these guys can perform. They've been, they've been through this. They didn't always been expected to be great every time they came on the field. And they did 95% of the time. They was always great. I'm, I said what I said. 95% of, of the time they was on the field, they was always great. So let me move on. Guys, these guys were high school phenoms. Like, these guys was like, oh, my God, at the next best. It's like LeBron James. LeBron James, you're going to be the greatest of all time. You're going to be better than Jordan. And then he go and perform that. Listen, I don't think he's better than Jordan, but look, that's another video. But he still, to do what he's done, be a top five player of all time, he met expectations, guys. Same thing with Trevor Lawrence and Andrew Luck. Very similar. A lot of expectations, a lot of pressure, guys. And these guys were high school phenoms, and they produced. So these is guys you are comfortable taking with the number one pick. Because a lot of guys are development guys. They're like, oh, yeah, my team ain't expect to win, but I'm going to play great. But if you expect it to play great, and everybody like, you better play. If you don't play great, man, you 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 sorry. Like, that's how much they have to lose. If they don't play good, but the other guys are, oh, man, he's developing. No, you ain't got time to develop. They're not going to give you time to develop because you you a high school phenom. You the number one recruit coming out. So that's why these guys has to perform. That's why I'm, I'm okay with taking Trevor Lawrence at the number one pick, even though I might like Zach Wilson a little bit better. I'm not saying that Zach Wilson's going to be better, but I like the way Zach Wilson game is with him for improv. But I'm, if I'm the general manager from the uh, from Jacksonville Jaguars, I'm taking Trevor just because I know he's going to meet expectations and I can win with that. I, even though I might like a different type of style quarterback, I'm still taking Trevor. So let me move on. The another thing that makes these guys very similar, guys, is your completion percentage growth from year to year in college. So if you look at uh, Trevor Lawrence, you look at Andrew Luck, they got better every year. So let me read you out uh, Andrew Luck, some of the things that he did, guys. As a freshman in 2009, Andrew Luck, Andrew Luck played 12 games. He played 12 games, guys, with a 56 completion percentage. He was a rookie or a freshman, let's say freshman. And he threw for 2,575 yards, 13 TDs, four interceptions. For, that's a great comment because he played for Stanford. Now, listen, Trevor Lawrence had a bunch of great talent. He had five stars all around him at Clemson. Andrew Luck didn't have a, have a five star. He might have had maybe one four star around him. And he still produced like that, right? And playing against USC, doing very well against those guys. So let me check this out now. So the sophomore year, 2010, he had 13 games. A 70 completion percentage. He went from 56 to 70. And he threw for 3,338 yards, 32 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. And he beat USC, guys. Phenomenal as a sophomore. Great. Great guy. Smart and everything. You know what I'm saying? I think he's a little bit more smarter than Trevor. But Trevor still knows the game just as well. You know what I'm saying? So junior year, 2011, he, Andrew Luck again played 13 games. And his completion percentage went up to 71. I don't care if it's only one, guys. Because you hit, you hit that bar 70, you can't go down to 62. Because the NFL is like, ah, something wrong with you. He stayed there. That's, that's, that's even better than like... That's great, guys. I know he didn't go up to 80. Nobody's going to have that. But if you can stay consistent there, that lets you, after people know what you are and they're preparing for you in a different year, because they know, like, Andrew, look, this guy's good. So they, the defense, or blitzing him, doing different things, and he still had a 71 completion percentage. And he threw for 3,517 yards, guys, with 37 TDs and 10 interceptions under that pressure, under that expectation. Like, again, that's why they're very similar. I say, I've been saying this the whole video now. So, listen, guys. So I'm gonna go to Trevor Lawrence real quick. So Trevor Lawrence was 65 fr freshman year, 65 again, which is that's still good, guys. And then he went to 69 last year. So let us you know this guy is growing. You know what I'm saying? So 
I know you might say, well, Terry, he didn't have seven. No, he didn't have seven. They play in different offenses. Andrew Luck played in a more of a professional style, so he had a little bit more easier throws to the flats and stuff. But Tre uh, Trevor was asked to throw the ball down, feel a little bit more in the shotgun. So it's just a little bit of difference, guys. It wasn't um, – so you got to look at the offensive system. So 65% completion percentage is the same as playing in a pro style with a 69 or 70 uh, completion percentage, guys. So, listen – uh, these guys' completion percentage, when you see a guy grow like that and he got a lot of expectations, he, they think he's going to win the Heisman and they boosting him up. Yeah, the next Heisman. Trevor Lawrence predicted to win the Heisman two years in a row. No, he didn't win it, but he still produced. So you do that. Somebody tell, oh, you're going to be the next best thing and you're going to be the best at this and see which how you produce. You might mess up because you're just like, dang, man. It was, I don't know. Pressure to bust pipes, guys. It is what it is. So the last reason, guys, that I believe that Trevor Lawrence and Andrew Luck are going to have going to be very similar. And I believe hopefully Trevor Lawrence get protected and he don't um, retire like Andrew Luck. That's a sad thing to uh, and the Apples have to own up to that. And they know that. They know they made a mistake not drafting the offensive line and not changing up the offense. But Trevor Lawrence, they're not going to go there. They're not going to let him get teed off like that because they know that can ruin a quarterback. We've seen what happened to David Carr, um, which is Derek Carr brother. When he came out, he was really good. And he got hit so much his rookie year, it was over. The guy, it just, it just it shatters your pocket of the readiness. So, anyway, they both are big, strong, and tall quarterbacks. I said what I said. Now, Andrew Luck got him by about 10 or 15 pounds. But still, Trevor's going to put that pipe of mask on as later on in his career. And Trevor can move in the pocket. He's not like Zach Wilson, but he still can move and you can give him runs. You can, you know, this guy can run. You look at some of his plays at Clemson, guy. This guy got, he got some wheels. He's not slow. He's not no stationary target in the pocket. But he also can stand tone and play that game like a Tom Brady. But he also can play a game where he's getting outside the pocket. So that's why this guy's going to be very good, guys. And Andrew Luck was the same way. Um, he just was mishandled, and Andrew Luck could get outside the pocket. He didn't know how to slide. That's the only thing. And I think hopefully Trevor learns from that. And other people tell him, so listen, man, you got to get down in the NFL. You can't take these hits. So you get down, get you a few yards, get the first down, slide. We're all about getting first downs. You're not Colin Murray. You're not Lamar Jackson. You're not taking off for 40 or 50 yards unless it just open up wide open like that, right? So, guys, make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video. And, guys, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to keep giving you cutting-edge videos, videos like this, guys. So thank you, guys. Have a blessed day. Peace.